Do you love Elementor? Do you want to extend it past its normal capabilities? In this video series, I am showing you how to simplify this process for you with advanced custom fills. So stay tuned! My name is Clifton Canopy, and welcome to WP Cliff Notes. Here I teach tips, tricks, and hacks about WordPress to help further your web development workflow. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to extend Elementor and WordPress with advanced custom fields. If you like WordPress as much as I do, go check out my channel, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get notifications for every video that I post. If you guys are ready to get started with the tutorial, let's jump to the computer. Hey everyone, welcome into the computer for video number two of three. And we are going to create all the ACF fields for this landing page and make it truly a dynamic website for your client. First, we're going to go to the back end Come down to ACF, the custom field, click fill groups, and we have to add a field group first. So we are going to name this field group photographer, and then we are going to publish it. And we need to set some location rules for this field group. We are going to change this to page. And we are going to name it home because that is the page that we want all the fields to correlate with. And we're going to hit update. Now there are some more rules down here and I will cover those. This is where the position of the fields are going to be located. I am going to keep them in the normal after the content. And I want them to be a standard meta box. And I want these settings to be active. We want the instructions to be below the label and we want the label placement to be top aligned. I want the content editor to not be on this page because I don't want the client to be able to mess up the design. All right, so let's update that. Okay, so let's move forward. After we have all this, these fields set to like we want them to, I like to have three windows open. The field group, the design that I've already opened in a window on the front end, and then I like to have the back end. Okay, so let's flip over and start adding fields. Okay, so first off, we need a background image field for this camera. We will flip over here, type, we'll call this hero image, create an image field. And so I want to separate these images into sections for, so the client will know that all of these fields have to do with the hero and all of these fields have to do with upper social. And then these have to do with the people and faces. These have to do with still life, and these fields have to do with animals and nature, and then so on and so on. When I come back over here, here to the field groups, sorry I was in the right spot, and we are going to create, create something called a group. And then I'm going to drag this in here, like so. And we are going to call this hero. And then we can change this to image. We can call it background image. And then the next field will be a headline for photographer. And so we are going to call this headline. And then we need to create one for the uh, photographer bio image and then photographer intro 
So we are gonna call this bio photo, bio paragraph. And we are gonna make this a WYSIWYG. And we are gonna make this a image field, another image field. And so now when we come over here to the edit screen and refresh, we should see some fields. There we go. It was closed. So now we have a background image, a hero headline, a bio image, and a bio paragraph. Let's go ahead and create this section right here, which would be social. We're going to call this upper social. So we'll add another group called upper social we are gonna add a headline we'll call this insta headline we need an instagram image come back over here add insta image make sure you make this an image field and then we will call this unsplash headline unsplash we're gonna call this a logo i'm gonna change this to logo on both of these Make this an image right quick. There we go. And then we're gonna change this to logo. We have all our fields for that one. We'll come back over here and hit refresh. And you get the point guys. I'm just trying to show you that the fields are showing up. Um, I probably won't do that every time. All right, so now we need to cover this area and for that we need we will call this the people and faces and so we need an image field and a WYSIWYG we're gonna put a WYSIWYG right here and then we will need a text field and a link field for the button so we'll come back over here to our fields and we will call this people and faces and we don't want that so we take that out of the field name but this is our image and so next actually we need to change this to make this a group and so now we can create our image right here and we will call this image and next we go down here and type image and this can get very repetitive, but guys, in the long run, it's pretty awesome. And then we need a WYSIWYG field. So let's call this content. And we are going to call this WYSIWYG. And then we need two. We need a button text and then button URL. And we want to make this a URL field. So only URLs can be put in here. And there we go, we have our image, our content, our button text, and our button URL. And pretty much, guys, what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to duplicate this. Change this to still life and objects. And we are going to pull this one down to the bottom. And then we're going to duplicate this one and call it nature and animals. And that's one of the cool things that you can do is you can duplicate a field. I think you can even duplicate a field group. That's one of the cool things with ACF. You don't have to keep doing the same field over and over and over. You have to recreate the name or whatever and change the name. But So we have people, still life, and nature. I'm going to update that. Make sure they show up correct here. So there's our hero. There's our upper social. There's our people. There's our still life, there's our nature and animal. And so next we need to create our social and our content. So pretty much what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create one, two, three, four URL fields called Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And then right here, I'm gonna create a um, WYSIWYG field. 
So we will call this social bottom or bottom social. And we will put this image in with that. So let's go back over to the groups. Bottom social, call this a group. We will add a FB URL. To shorten this, I'm just gonna make these really short. And you wanna make these a, um, a URL field and then I'm gonna duplicate this call this one uh, Twitter it's not really much way you can do that and since this one's Twitter I'm gonna go back up here and make this one Facebook just go fix that fix that and we're going to add a new field you can duplicate it but I'm just gonna add it and then make sure you make this a URL field and then we need YouTube There you go, and you need to change this to a URL. And then we need a WYSIWYG field. So we will call this, we will call this social content. And then we need to put the photographer image in this social area. So I'm gonna have this be we're going to call this photographer photo. We need to make it a image field. Then we can update this. All right, last but not least, we are going to do this. I'm going to make this a WYSIWYG because we can put all this in a WYSIWYG. And then I'm going to make this a WYSIWYG as well. Let's do that. And we're gonna call this sign up. Or let's do something else, subscribe. And we will call this a group. And then we need a WYSIWYG, uh, left content, make it a WYSIWYG. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another one. Call this right content. And make it a WYSIWYG as well. And then that pretty much wraps up creating all our fields. So let's go here to the field area refresh our screen and so I'm just going to go through all the fields so we have our hero background image header image bio image and content and then we have our insta headline and then we have our insta logo our unsplash headline and our unsplash logo and then for people we have an image we have a content area we have a button text a button URL and we have the same thing for still life, content, button URL, button text, and image. Same thing for nature, content, button URL, button text right here, and then image. But if you notice, I didn't flip this back up here. So let's go back over here and under nature, let's bring this image up here to the top. And that's one thing you can do guys, you can drag and drop these fields and move them around which is very nice. So when we refresh the screen, you should be able to scroll down here to nature and there's your image on top and everything else. Now we're going to come down here and we have all our social URLs. Oh, look, we didn't make this a WYSIWYG field 
and we need to do that and sometimes this happens when you have a lot to a lot of fields to uh, create so let's come down here to social content let's make this a WYSIWYG field I'm kind of glad that I was messing up a little bit just so you guys know that you can go back and change these things later there we go there's our content and our subscribe area we have the left content and the right content guys that's the end of this video it was kind of a long video but it had a lot of great information again thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate every viewer and in video number three we will fill out all of these fields from top to bottom with images and text then we will implement them into this entire landing page and you will see how ACF and Elementor can be implemented that's it we will see you in video number three